Who who is Jesus? What were some of the what were some of the things? Well, who did you say Jesus was? Companion. Companion. How would how would that impact the kind of church that you're talking about planning? If if, if the majority of the people held Jesus as companion, see, that, that's the kind of thing we're starting to talk about. What else? Friend. Friend. Model. Model. Assurance. Assurance. Reconciler. Reconciler. One who points us toward God. One who points us toward God. Amen. See, all those things, and it, it's, it's, that's why it's so important. That, that shapes, you know, when we give this gift to people, um, what are we giving them? Uh, how it, sh it shapes, and, and the people that we draw, and the vision that God is captivating us with, you know, is very, very... Uh, uh, very much attributed to who, who we understand Jesus to be. And if, if you don't have some foundational agreement as you begin to grow uh, and, you get these, and you get different people coming in from different places that are called or feel, feel, are feeling called to be a part of your group um, and, and they are, they are uh, in some ways ha have a different understanding of church, a different understanding of Jesus, that can cause real problems. And so it's, it's important that you understand that because, you know, while we say that church is for everybody, the reality is that there are times when you need to say to someone, maybe this isn't the place, this is the best community of faith for you. Maybe there's another community of faith that is better for you to be in that, that fits more consistently with who you are. And there's really no shame in doing that. In fact, you're, you become healthier doing that. Um, <clears throat> I want to show a video real quick. Some of you may have seen this. How many of you know of highwayvideo.com? If you don't know highwayvideo.com, write it down. If, you, if, you, if, you, if you're the kind of... Kind of, kind of people that like to do videos and worship, uh, they are one good, very good site. Uh, I've used them quite a bit, and they, this is one of their videos. What do you think of when I say the word Christian? About religion. Follow of Jesus Christ. Baptist. Religion. Church. Cross. Christ, I guess. Christian. Love. Love. Scum. Bad. Word association. Christian. Fanatic. Jesus. Christ. What do you think of when I say the word Christian? Um, bad. About Jesus Christ. Um, nice guy. God is ideas mixed up. What do you think of when I say Jesus Christ? God. Peaceful. Superstar. Um, a man. A spiritual leader. Well, historically, as a historical figure, I think was a humanitarian and a pacifist, and that I admire. Is there anything about Christians that you admire? No. Christians. Crazy. Jesus Christ. Good. Jesus Christ. Mm, it, you don't have to believe in him to go to heaven. Huh? Christians. Uh, Christians. Most of them are good people. Uh, they bother me. Jesus Christ. Myth. Christians. Weak. Jesus Christ. I think the Bible is a, is a good book if you like fiction. Christians. Um, my parents, they were uh, abusive. Jesus Christ. I don't know who he is. <laughs> Christian people. Ooh. What do you think of when I say the word Christian? Organized religion? Cult. What do you think of when I say Jesus? I met a <laughs> God? I don't know. Christian? Trouble? What do you think of when I say Jesus Christ? Basically the same thing, trouble. <laughs> you asked that one. <laughs> Christ. What do you think of when I say Christ? <laughs> Savior. What do you think the difference is between Jesus and the people that claim to follow him? Jesus probably isn't real, and the people that do follow him are. Any difference between Jesus and the person he was and Christian people that claim to follow him? Yes. What's the difference? Well, Jesus is perfect and we aren't. What do you think of when I say the word Christian? Christian? Uh, morals, family values. What do you think of when I say the word Jesus Christ? Savior, uh, redemption. 
There you go. Uh, friend. Brother. Father. Cool kid. <laughs> I like him. All right, thanks a lot, man. Take care. What do you think of when I say Christian? What do I think of? I think of Jesus Christ. What do you think of when I say Jesus Christ? I think of my Savior who died for my sins. Died for my sins. Thanks a lot. What do you think of when I say Jesus Christ? I ain't got no else. I ain't got no else. I ain't got no else. The problem is it was made in California. <clears throat> so, you know, those people are a little weird out there anyway. That's, that's my context. It is. It's, it, you know what? The reality is it's all our context. What you just saw is, is what, what you're trying to plant a church in, the kind of culture you're trying to plant a church in. Um, at the National New Church Development Conference in Orlando, Alan Hirsch, a uh, missiologist from Australia, was talking about, you know, and I won't take you through the exercise, but he talked about how people view God. And it's generally positive. People view God in a positive way. People view spirituality in a positive way. People view Jesus in a positive way. But what do you think they think about the church? They hate the church. And he, he talked about it in business. He would say, we have a great product, but a terrible delivery system. <laughs> But the, but the reality is you, you are creating those delivery systems, you know. And, and so if, if that hopefully will, will underscore a little bit about why it's so important we know who Jesus is. Because look at, look at what you're planning into. I mean, you're going into a world that is hostile. And, and maybe if you're from the south, which I kind of am, the southwest, um, there's still a bit of a culture that is positive about uh, Christianity and positive about the church. Uh, where we are here in Indianapolis... I think, you know, uh, some, Jan, one of the other videographers, talked about how as he was driving down, he saw on the license plate, you know what it said? In God we trust. And he was shocked. He's from California. Go figure. There's, some, there's a theme running through here about Californians. And he was shocked that on their license plate they would have that, in God we trust. Um, but but most, of the, most of the country, there's, it's becoming hostile. When you start to build a church, if you ever get to that point where you decide you want to build a building, you know, zoning boards and, and city councils and neighborhood associations are not so kind anymore. Uh, and they treat churches just like they treat everybody else, which is, which is different from the, the way it used to be. Um, so you're planning a church into a hostile culture that's hostile toward organized religion but really loves Jesus. So it becomes very important that you know who this Jesus is for you and who you're trying to share with people. Um, for you and your context, how, how does your understanding of Jesus uh, impact what your church does. Impact how it worships, how it serves, um, how it interacts with those outside your church. How many of you are actually in a, in a church now? Can I get a show? There's one actually worshiping in a, in a, in a congregation or, or leading. Okay, some of you are. Even in the, if, if you're not starting a new church, even in the church you're in, how does your understanding of Jesus impact what your church does? How it worships, how it interacts with those outside your church? Does it? Or maybe it's still early for you from the West Coast. It takes a while to get to that. Um, well, it sends people into mission. It sends people into mission. Yeah. Okay. How does, how does Jesus impact how you worship, your understanding? Does it? Or do you just worship? Do you just, you got, you're, on, you're on autopilot. You don't really think about it. You're just doing it because that's what the Book of Common Worship says, and that's what we do. And, and how we understand Jesus and how Jesus interacts with us, it really doesn't matter. Thank you for being honest. And very much so. Yeah. Sometimes we just we do get on autopilot, don't we? Yes, and getting them out of autopilot is hard to do. Well, what happens as we talk about you know the the way we assess when when that happens? What what does worship become? Ritual. It becomes ritual. ritual. It becomes dead. It becomes dead, but it becomes a program of the church. Entertainment. It becomes entertainment. And so keeping that alive, especially as we talk, you know, later on throughout the day, you know, really talk about how we assess ourselves and, and, and how we understand our, our relationships, our vision, our program management, all those kinds of things. When that happens, when Jesus isn't relating to our worship and it's just about something we produce for people and do, you know. Sometimes it's not even good at anything. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> 